about the very orange generosity. Almost done. Okay. Um, sure. The first to return in the summer of 1975. Like that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. That better? And wow. Yeah. First occurred in the summer of 1975. Uh, I was, uh, I had been at Auburn that year. Uh, I was uh, just one year past my PhD. And uh, Mary Ellen that summer was inviting uh, various luminaries in the field, uh, not me, but uh, to come to Madison uh, to uh, work on the normal more space project. And uh, my colleague, Phil Zener, told me about this, and he said Mary Ellen would uh, welcome uh, anybody who would like to come. So I decided that would be a great opportunity for me to learn something. And I went, and uh, um, well, anybody who knows Mary Ellen could not be surprised at this. She treated me like anybody else, and uh, this included uh, I invited me to give a talk in the seminar she was running, uh, which I did. And uh, the uh, morning after the talk, she comes to my office and congratulates me on a wonderful talk. She said, everyone's answering your questions. <laughs> <laughs> she meant that as a compliment. <laughs> I tried to take it that way. <laughs> I was a little perturbed that my questions were being answered so easily. <laughs> uh, the other story occurred uh, about 10 years later. My wife, uh, my wife's brother, lived in Madison at the time, and it uh, so happened he, he uh, was renting out his uh, uh, the bottom half of the house he was living in, and it was vacant uh, that summer. So uh, Peg and I decided it'd be great to go to Madison and uh, spend some time with uh, Mary Ellen and Ken Goodin and uh, Eric Van Allen was there too at that time. Uh, uh, but I need to tell you, before, uh, a while before that summer, I was working on uh, a problem. I was trying to get a, a certain game characterization of course and compact spaces. It doesn't matter what those are. But I was trying, trying to prove uh, that my game property uh, characterized course and compact, some classic compact spaces. Uh, but I didn't see how to do it. I wrote Mary Ellen and mentioned the problem. She wrote me back and said, uh, it was just a brief letter. Uh, she said, yes, it's true. Your property is stronger than one thinks. Well, she didn't include the proof in the letter. <laughs> uh, then a couple weeks later, I got another letter from her uh, saying there was a gap in her proof, and so it was back to square one. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm going to Madison, and I'm planning to work on that problem. Um, well, about halfway through the summer, I still didn't see how to do it. And but Mary Ellen said she had some ideas she wanted to show me. So we uh, uh, retreat through to some room in Bang Black Hall, and she uh, uh, tells me her ideas. So she goes to the board and explains her ideas. Uh, and I understood uh, essentially zero of what she was trying to tell me. So uh, I went back and just uh, plugged away on it, on, on my, uh, you know, doing it my own way. And uh, um, about a week before we were to leave Madison, I got it. Uh, the property did characterize the course of the tax. And I was excited about it. And I phoned Mary Ellen uh, to tell her. And she uh, uh, congratulated me and said, uh, I'm genuinely happy for me, and I'm sure she was. And the next morning, she handed me a couple pages with her writing on it, and it was a proof of the same thing, doing it her own way. <laughs> uh, I was a little 
slow on the uptake, I think, uh, but I eventually realized she surely had it all along, at least from the time she was trying to give me hints. Uh, but uh, finally let me uh, work on it some more and, and do it my own way. And uh, at that time I was still relatively young and such things were important to me, so I am uh, grateful to her for that. So, uh, that's it. Thank you.